He goes in for another Mega Knight, but we're stacking Inferno Dragons, man. He's not ready. Alright guys, so we have a Mega Knight Minor Poison deck. This deck functions off of bait with Bats, Goblin Gang, Inferno Dragon, and Rascals. If they have Zap, they're gonna have to decide between zapping your Inferno Dragon, Bats, and Goblin Gang. And if they have Log, they have to decide between logging your Rascals or Goblin Gang. Because you do have Goblin Gang and Rascals to deal with Goblin Barrels, you can actually afford to have Zap and Poison in the same deck. It's really nice to see Mega Knight back in the meta, and I hope you guys enjoy this Mega Knight Minor Poison deck. TK with the words of wisdom as per usual, my man. <sighs> Here we go. He's gonna fireball the Rascals. All right. So I'm gonna use the boy Rascal. Thick boy is a tank for our miner. So he's gonna give our miner some extra HP out here. And we're gonna be going up for bats off to the side. Hopefully the bats get on top of the tower. Now he just shuts us down. He's just like, Jake, you had a nice thought of getting some chip damage there with the bats, but it's never to come to fruition. What are you thinking, Jake? All right, so I'm gonna go for Inferno Dragon right on top of the Mega Minion. It looks like he's running Lava Loon or Graveyard. Could also be a funky hog rider deck, but I doubt it. So since he has Zap, I feel like I can go for Goblin Gang right in front. Yeah, there's the Lava Hound, so it's Lava Loon. So you always want to apply a lot of pressure off his lane as soon as you see Lava Loon, guys. Don't really let them just have their prey push on you. Can't let it happen. So I want to go for a Miner. I need damage, or I need it now. I'm also going to try DPS that down. Do I need a Poison? I think Poison's the best play. I really do. And then also zap the, uh, the Inferno Dragon. Do I need to? Yeah, I definitely do. Alright, we chilling. That was a really good start to the game, guys. So as soon as you see the Lob Hound in the back, just apply a ton of aggression off his lane and then try to get away with Inferno Dragon and Bats. Sometimes you're going to have to poison, but I really like the reckless strategy of going in for Rascals plus Goblin Gang or Rascals plus Miner and then hovering Zap for any units that they might drop on top of you. You really just can't let them have their way with you. So he's most likely going to fireball the Rascal, so I didn't want to drop it in the same lane that he wants the fireball chip damage on, right? Just not about it. Last time, okay. All right, I was going to say last time he went in really hot and heavy, but this time he's also kind of doing the same thing. I'm going to go in for Goblin Gang off to the side to make sure that we can discourage his, from his, uh, discourage his Mega Minion from getting too much damage on me. And I think that our tower will get enacted on top of the Mega Minion, so that worked out really well. I'm also going to go in for Bats here, and then I'm going to go in for a Mega Knight right on top of his Rascals. So I just waited for the most opportune moment, even though I was leaking a little bit of Elixir. I really wanted to kill those Rascals with the Mega Knight. I didn't want the boy Rascal to defend the Virginity. I'm also going to be going in for a Poison to make sure that we can clean up all those Skeletons pronto, so then the Mega Knight jumps for joy gleefully on top of the tower. Let's go, man. He's so happy. He's all smiles today. He's chilling. Such a jubilant Mega Knight. <laughs> we're going to go in for Rascals, and then we're going to be going in for Goblin Gang right at the river. We didn't end up blocking the Thick Boy, so unfortunately he ended up dying. But we have so much Zap Bait in this deck, that there's no way for Lava Loon to ever break through this. Lava Loon gets wrecked by this deck, because Rascals are so hard to deal with, man. You can't, like, I don't know. Rascals are just so OP right now. Rascals, especially with Goblin Gang, the synergy in this deck is pretty much unparalleled. Good game and well played. I can't fault you for being a Zap Panda, man. All right, guys, so we got a game against someone from Korea. We're going to be saucing out the good luck, and then we're going to be dropping bats in the back, splitting them at the start of the game. So we're just going to wait and chill. Oh, you're going for bats as well. So we're going to go for a miner to tank for our bats. And hopefully we can get some nice juicy damage with our bats as well. We're baiting out spear goblins as well. And you're going to be running a bait deck. Okay, so I guess everyone's running bait decks. We're running a bait deck. You're running a bait deck. Everyone runs bait decks out here. We're going to go in for bats just to make sure that we can eliminate those skeletons as soon as possible. Could go in for a miner, but I don't want to get hyper aggressive here. I don't really have the best cycling though, so I guess I kind of want to go in for a miner. Oh no, it's not getting tanked for. Alright, well I'm definitely going to have to zap that. going to wait the last possible second, go in for a zap before any spear goblin hits go off. And... All right, so he's going to be running Skeleton Barrel Bait. Usually they don't run Skeleton Barrel anymore. I haven't seen that in the meta in a fat minute. I wonder if he's running Skeleton Barrel with Prince. That is a very old combination. Wouldn't be too surprised to see it, though. So I'm going to go cycle Rascals in the back, and he's going to go drop his Barrel. Yo, he might be running, like, Skeleton Barrel Mega Knight, because that is a very old deck as well. Mega Knight just came uh, back in the meta. That'd be pretty interesting. Yeah, I think he's probably running that, right? He's like... Oh, Mega Knight's back. Let's run the new or the old Mega Knight deck. I hated when that thing was really good. 
We're gonna go for a bats. He went in for a zap. So our Inferno Dragon will die. He goes in. Yeah, so we're fighting on his side of the map. Not the best case scenario for us at all. So I'm gonna go in for Goblin Gang because he doesn't actually... Yeah, I'm gonna have to poison this as well. Because he doesn't have Zap and Cycle. Oh, that poison gave me so much utility. This man already fat fingered a card into it. Yeah, man, that feels fantastic. Okay. He's not dropping Mega Knight yet, though. Kind of annoying. We know he has a big card. Most likely going to be Mega Knight. All right, so since he goes and sauces out the Inferno Dragon, I'm going to go drop my Mega Knight. I'm going to win this battle, ensure that his uh, Inferno Dragon dies, and then my Inferno Dragon will kill his, and then it will also kill his Mega Knight. So that's how I want this to play out. I think it's going to work out beautifully. Or it should. <laughs> Look at all this DPS that we're about to get on him. His body's not ready, man. I'm going to go for a Miner as well. Mega Knight is still kicking it. Mega Knight is still providing the DPS that we know and love out here. He goes in for another Mega Knight, but we're stacking Inferno Dragons, man. He's not ready. His body wasn't ready. I'm going to go in for a Zap on top of the Bats to preserve our uh, Inferno Dragons. Unfortunately, the Inferno Dragons are not staying alive. Ooh, his Inferno Dragon gets sizzled first. All right, since we have Inferno Dragons, you can't really drop a Mega Knight on that to clean it up. Like... The Game of Thrones! Oh, no, never mind. never mind. We have two dragons. I wanted three of them, man. I really did. Can we win this, please? Alright, we're going to be going in for another cycle of bats in the back. And his Inferno Dragon is yet again out of cycle. So I could go in for a Mega Knight. But he would just drop his on top of mine. So I don't really want to. I'm going to go in for a Miner. Guess he's going to give me some Zap value to finish that off. And maybe just get some hits. Oh, this guy's just not getting overzealous with me, is he? He's not getting frisky. Mega Knight in the back. He's going to go drop his Mega Knight. Or I'm dropping uh, Inferno Dragon in the back. I guess he's going to drop Mega Knight. Yeah. Most likely. So as soon as that gets into range, I have to go drop Goblin Gang. He doesn't have Zap in Cycle, so that's going to soak up a lot. I'm going to go in for a Zap right on top of the Bats. And then uh, his Skeletons are going to get some damage, but it's not too big of a deal. Not too big of a deal at all. Inferno Dragons are just going to trade in the middle of the map, and then I'm going to immediately follow up with uh, a Miner. Oh, this is a little bit uncomfortable. I dislike this. We were in a great scenario, but now we're not. Guess I'm going to go in for a Poison. I'm going to finish off the Skeleton Barrel. I think he's getting a little bit overzealous with that Skeleton Barrel. I can go in for Goblin Gang here. I'm not going to zap that. If I kill his Inferno Dragon, then I feel like I can get a little bit more hyper-aggressive. So here we go, boys. This is where our big parade push is happening. We're making it happen. He's going to go in for a zap. The bats are on top of the tower. The bats are shrekking him here. The Inferno Dragon is on top of the Mega Knight. And I think we got the game in the bag with one more cycle. All we got to do is do one more cycle on him with a Minor Poison. So we're going in for a Minor. He's going in. He's going in hot and heavy. He misses the zap on top of our bats. And the bats should finish off the uh, Skeletons. But the Skeletons are getting an uncomfortable amount of damage. He doesn't have bats in cycle or he doesn't have zap in cycle. So I felt very comfortable just saucing out the Poison. And he wasn't able to zap our bats plus our Spear Goblin. So we won the game. Alright, we're gonna go Goblin Gang right in the middle. I meant to go right in the middle. It went off to the side, so we're gonna get one last hit. Actually, we didn't even get a single hit because he sauces out the log. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with the Miner, and it most likely is gonna be a uh, P.E.K.K.A. Control deck. Even though these are not extremely prevalent anymore, this guy is rocking it. So he's gonna be running the one with Mega Minion instead of Flying Machine. Going in for that Poison means that we don't have to deal with the Mega Minion, so I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty stoked for that. Poison does a lot of damage to the Spear Goblin Hut, and... He's going to go in for a Royal Ghost. I want to go in for Rascals. He might go in for a Poison, but we're going to have to wait and see what exactly his variation is, right? So he does have Log. He's going to, he's going to now have to pick between logging that or this. Okay, so he logged that. So now I'm going to go opposite lane, utilize the Miner, and try to get some more value out of the Girl Rascals. Look at that damage that we're getting. That's incredible, man. This is why I love this deck. You make sure that they have to either log the Rascals or the Goblin Gang, and then the other one gets some absurd value always. So Inferno Dragon on defense is the play. Despite him still having Zappies, it will mitigate a lot of damage from the Mega Minion. Not going to allow him to get two swipes here. So I'm just going to play super defensive, and whenever he drops Spear Goblin Hut, we poison it so he can't really drop it. I mean, I guess you can, but it's a bad play. Because now I can gradually chip away and just win the game off of this. Your Spear Goblins are going to get very little damage on my tower. And now Spear Goblin Hut after the nerf isn't so great. Like it really isn't so great against Poison or other spells. So Goblin Gang, he goes and drops Royal Ghost. Now I'm going to go in for Rascals on defense. 
It's going to go for a minor to bounce everything back, but I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. Because Thick Boy is so thick, you're not going to actually get tower damage with your Royal Ghost, unfortunately for you. And also, since you have Log, we can go in for Minor plus Bats. If you identify they only have like Log and Poison, then you just go in for Bats Minor, and it's so hard for them to deal with it. So, it's kind of like the equivalent of Minion Horde, but it's not exactly the same thing. It's just to a little bit lesser of an extent. It's really strong if uh, they don't have an answer to it. If they don't have Zap, they're going to be finding themselves in very awkward situations. I'm going to be using Minor. Hopefully, we can kite everything off his lane. That'd be pretty hilarious. So I'm going to go for Mega Knight on defense, and then I'm going to go in for Bats to finish off the Royal Ghost. We're not going to get royally wrecked by that Royal Ghost, I'm sorry to say, sir. I'm also going to go follow up with Goblin Gang to make sure that we keep our Inferno Dragon alive. Our Inferno Dragon is still thriving out here. We got double Dragon Domination, and yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Guys, this is going to be GG. This is going to be all she wrote. Good game, well played, and good luck, bro. Despite you having P.E.K.K.A. Zappy's Spear Goblin Hut, we still finessed you, man. So this deck can win against P.E.K.K.A. Spear Goblin Hut. It's just a little bit difficult. If you run Bandit instead of Goblin Gang, then it synergizes way better with the Mega Knight. But if you run Goblin Gang, then it synergizes way better with Rascals. And I'd rather not give them the spell value, right? I think it's a little bit more important to have a more cohesive deck from a spell bait perspective if you're running a spell bait deck in general, right? I don't think you can run Rascals without Goblin Gang in the deck. I really don't think that's possible. I'm sitting here with one of the worst possible hands, so I'm going to go zap the tower. And then I'm also just going to wait. I guess I'll minor. He's most likely going to be running a golem deck or a beatdown deck, since he didn't drop anything. So I'm also going to go for Rascals here. So the Rascals should separate so that the Dark Prince doesn't get a charge off on top of the Girl Rascals. I'm going to go in for Inferno Dragon. Could also go in for High Bats, but I don't really see the need in it. Should end up killing the Dark Prince. We'll get a charge though, a little bit unfortunate, and a hit. Oh man, I hate when that happens. But we should be able to bounce back here. I'm gonna go in for Goblin Gang right at the river, coupled with our Inferno Dragon to get more value out of it. He goes in for a log, so he's gonna have multifarious spells, but the Inferno Dragon will get a little will get a little bit of sizzling off on him. I'm gonna go in for bats, and then I'm also gonna apply some aggression with a miner here. He's just gonna zap it, so he shuts everything down. Our hopes and dreams come crashing down there. I really don't want to start off with a Mega Knight, but I'll just go for Rascals. So Inferno Dragon should sizzle the Giant and give us a little bit of counter push potential. Huh, so he's just going to poison. Alright. So I'm going to go for Mega Knight in front, and hopefully this will work out pretty well for us. I'm also going to go in for Bats. And he's going to Log and Zap. Wow, alright. That's super aggressive, dude. Now I can go in for a minor. I think we just end up taking you out. Despite you having an Electro Wizard, I think that we finessed you. This is a really hard counter deck. You have almost every spell plus Electro Wizard. We got a lot of damage there. I'm pretty happy with that. Is he going to log this again? He might. He should. Yeah, there it is. Mega Knight is going to be dropped in the back. He's going to drop a... Uh, Santa Claus. I got to go in for a Goblin Gang off to this side. And then I also have to go in for High Bats. So if we have a push with an Electro, uh, Electro Wizard out of cycle, then we can make something happen for sure. Especially if that Inferno Dragon gets on top of the tower, which it might. I'm going to go in for a Poison. Oh no, it didn't really work out the way I wanted to. I'm going to go in for a Zap as well. We really want to keep that alive. Alright, so the Zap was a little bit risky. A little bit bad actually. Had to soak up a lot of damage there. Interesting Poison by him. I think the Inferno Dragon shuts it down. He also went in for a Zap, so I'm going to try to use that to the best of my ability. He's going to go in for Electro Wizard around top, so I got to go in for Goblin Gang to finish off the Electro. Wait, are you serious? You cannot be serious, man! You just botched it! Please! I don't know if he botched it or not. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh my god! Give me a harder counter deck, please, sir!